You're joking. Why did you buy a one by six? What the heck is going on here? I just wanted to put a, I go buy a couch and just put it there. That would I be. I didn't want to do any of that. That would be sense. so lame. We could just do reclining lazy boys and sleep on a lazy boy. So baby, we should start the <laughs> yeah. Which is good. That's good. No, because now there's nowhere to put drawers. Well, no, there's still some more drawers. But... You're going to have to cut that down. No, no. Yeah, yeah because She's the drawers. Michael, the drawers need to be this whole space. You didn't look on the sign? You're joking. Why did you buy a one by six when I said to buy a one by four? I quit. What the heck is going on here? So you only wanted it this gap? Three and three quarters? I can cut it down to three and three quarters. It'll sit on there. It'll be flush with the top of this. Okay, that works. Yes, I do. That's why I okay, said to so buy one by four. Okay, so is this a fixed frame? Yes, this is for the fixed frame. It's going to have a notch in it for Mom. this sliding frame. Hi. So where Mom, does the, the moving trees. frame go in Way front in of trees. it? Yeah. And what does yeah. that attach to? The drawer slides. The wood that's on the drawer shelf. Yeah. It, no, it is the drawer slide. So you're notching this out for this to sit in, and then there's another piece across the front. The, this will sit... In the notch. With the piece of wood that's attached. Yeah, it'll be attached just in front of this. Yeah, and to this. What size of that would be? Just the one by three? Yeah. Pull it the same? Yeah. This is the only one that needed to be bigger. Okay. So you're cutting it down to three and three quarters, and a one by three is two and a half. So yeah. you'll still have an inch and a quarter thickness on this. Uh, sticking under the notch. Like you're gonna notch it to like once you cut that down to to let this pass through oh, okay yeah but you'll still have to cut it out because this moving part is still well, the width is most of it the fixed part though oh i see you're, you're saying resting oh, on this notch on this wood the notch part yeah, yeah. okay yeah yeah this thickness plus this thickness so we need that measurement but on the back end we only need to notch out just for that just slide. Just the frame? Yeah, just the slide. How do we make sure the slide is level? Uh, level. You have to remember there's going to be a quarter inch slide. I'm sitting on top of this too. It actually needs to probably go flush with the top. Because if you lower it too much, then this notch has to go deeper. As long as these two are level with each other, it really doesn't matter about any other levelness. The most level line we can get along yeah. this top notch. Once we fasten the side that is okay. These two aren't parallel to each other. We'll have a problem. Well, 73 and, oh, 3 eighths. 73 and 3 eighths. So that basically what's happening is because is this isn't fully This is 73 and 3 eighths. So you're 2 eighths off. This is not snugging in as much. That will, once we put that front piece on you can snug it in. Yeah. Pretty sure it's this backer piece. I remember it bowed. Yeah, yeah. it was See that? really bowed, yeah. That just throws everything off. Now yeah. it's like really nicely in. Right. Um I'm gonna back it off. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Now. the fixed frame now. Yes. The clampets. I'm trying to be happier for you guys. <laughs> Dude, 
have to figure out how to do it. I don't even know how to do it. It's hard. This the this design is not a Three simple design. One, eight. So notching out because this is a little bit longer than we anticipated. So I'm going to notch out the rear so that we can pull this back flush with this outer frame. We had to double up on the plywood here with the three quarter because the screws here would be would interfere if we were to notch it out here. This slide will attach to this fixed frame. This is a fixed frame. After watching many videos, killing myself to get my brain to figure this out. Somewhere. <laughs> I don't think I was on your face because I was too busy watching you do it. You need to keep an eye on this too. You want this flush with the front, right? Okay. Is that going anywhere? I don't think so. I'm very happy, guys. <laughs> All I do is work every day for 14 hours a day. They can't see you. <laughs> you know? the guy with the pots and pans. Have you guys seen that guy with the pots and pans? That's me! <laughs> You've seen the guy with the pots and pans, right? Where the wife, it says, like, well, wife gets home, husband gets home from work, and this is wife. And it's that crazy guy with the pots and pans hitting himself, and the spices are flying everywhere. I don't even know what you're talking about. You've never seen that one? No! Oh, I'm going to have to look it up for Sabrina. She's, <laughs> she's got to get a kick out of it. Why, why is this coat so high? It's, it's actually not high enough. It's on the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> We're all going to be up early because we have no curtains. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. Oh. I get to use my new tool again. Look, guys, there's a situation. There's a situation. Look it. So this, I want to make one more little cut here, but oopsie doozies. We're not going to be able to because of that lock is in the way with this thing. Would you look at that? Get yourself in a pickle. That's what you do. They need to make a little bit longer one. They probably do. They probably do. DeWalt, you could sponsor us if you wanted. If you're watching. Are you using it as a primer right now? Yeah. <laughs> That'll yep. move freely. Yep. Not the prettiest thing you ever seen. Nobody's but she's it. functional. Lumber. So now we're building the sliding frame. We won't call it the inner because part of it is out, part of it is in. Kids are fighting. Hey, be happy. Doesn't really work for me, eh? If you're just the obvious, be happy. Yeah. Makes me more angry. Let me, let me try it next time that you're getting that. upset when something's not working. It. I saw people on another YouTube channel leave these on and just nail it. Wow. Did that bother you? Yeah. Open the frame, the slide frame. So we, when you're a man one day. I won't make those noises, you're right. You'll make the same noises your father made. I'm making the noises my father made. Mm, yeah. No. And I used to make fun of him for it too. That's great. He'd reach and be like, with a screwdriver. Doing it. Yeah. I know you're doing it too. I don't. Just get my back. Just enough. <laughs> ah! 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 What the heck? That's not. Trying to break my toes? Get a little crowded in here. We're returning that toilet. It's got to get out of here. It's taking up too much room. Yeah, the Max Air Fan. In the Max Air Fan box. So we'll see if it fits. This is the sliding track. It does not fit. No <laughs> more truth. Good? 
This is where we're parking our bus. Oh. Until we go down south. Oh, down south? Down south. South to America. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why that we go to America. <laughs> there are no cats there. No cats? Yeah, I remember five of them. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. The streets are paved with cheese. There are no cats in America, but the streets are paved with cheese. Remember? Uh, uh, nope. You didn't watch that movie? Philo Goes West? Man, you were deprived as a child. Oh, so deprived. You didn't watch Karate Kid? You didn't watch. <laughs> so deprived. Yeah. All right, so we got our single mattress that yeah. was actually Levi's at the house <laughs> on our bed that's only part we pulled out. No, because our real our real cushions will allow this to push out halfway. Yeah, but ours got ordered a lot later than the kids, so they're not ready yet. So this is what we're sleeping on tonight. It's gonna be nice and cozy. We're gonna need it because it's gonna be cold tonight. <laughs> we're just working through the second couch and we realize what can be changed and improved on the second couch. These couches are gonna be built differently. Oh. As long as I make the other couch to here. Yes. These should line up. Yeah, they sh they'll line up, yeah. They'll line up. Because it would look terrible if we were like those bridge makers were like, they're <laughs> building from both sides of the land and the bridge meets in the middle like this. <laughs> yeah, let's not and do that. And then what happens, someone gets in big trouble because that's a billion dollar project this one is not and it feels like a billion dollar project for our little world but it's not this side has drawers the other side won't this one has a locking mechanism after the fact we thought we don't really like it so just we, because it sticks out so then out where the where they need to meet in the middle we're gonna have it has some advantages bulkiness. like when you're traveling it's not gonna just pop out but realistically these wooden slotted systems aren't just gonna pop out the wood rubs a bit. It doesn't just fly out. This side's not going to have that. They should meet in the middle. So if I build the box, the back will have to be built up. Or I got to notch it out this much. Yeah. No. Yes. yes. But what's it going to... So say this is the system. Where does the hinge attach to? This thing? The hinge will attach to this non-moving slat. To this slat. So we're going to actually attach it right to the slat. That's my As thought. opposed to the... The thing the that the slats are I'm attached to. The hinge is going to attach to the non-moving slat okay. to the board that we run along the back. Okay. This is we're trying to figure out the hinge system. This is not a hinge system. These slats. Why don't we just explain? We that. did hinges on our last couch, but what we did different was with this system. These ones are vertical, and when we made our couch in our coach bus, we put these pieces horizontal. So then our hinges attached to these that were horizontal, the back one, because this one was flat. 
sort of attached to that. But now... That doesn't make any sense. Yes, it did. <laughs> yes, it did. Oh, my mind. So now because they're up and down... Is that better? Up and down? <laughs> now you're talking my language. <laughs> it's, it's harder to attach a hinge to or figure out how to attach so, a hinge to. Okay, we've, well, this is why you got to talk it through, folks. A lot of talking. We're not doing drawers on this side. We need storage that's accessible in a different way. I don't know if it's going to complicate everything. Because a woman designed it. <laughs> because she's smart. I just wanted to put a, I go buy a couch and just put it there. That would I didn't be, want to do any of that. That would be sense. so lame. We could just do reclining been... lazy boys and sleep on a lazy boy. Where are you going to find a lazy boy that's the exact right measurement to meet in the middle? And, but at the end of it, we will have a thing size bed. Yeah. Which is bigger than our last bus. And everybody's like, how are you going to do it? How is like nine people going to be such a tiny space? We're going to have a king bed, folks. Last time we had a queen. We're giving ourselves more bed. We just don't have a bedroom. Yeah, I'm too negative. I'm sorry. I'm happy. I'm happy. So 15 inches. Okay. Got it? No. Hopefully right. we're right. Let right. me just... I think so. Why wouldn't it be? Yeah, birds. I kind of like that design better. We should have did that on both sides. This is drawer. Like, we could have lifted up both sides. I know. And then that would have been a pain to get our clothes out of every day. You prefer this for clothes? Yes. Much. Can't you fit your clothes in here? Mm, no. Why not? Okay. I'll build it. All right. If you build it, they will come. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> A lot of people went bankrupt doing that. Build it and they'll come crap. Oh. I'll get customers first, then build it. Okay, honey. That's the other idea. What are your customers coming to get if there's nothing <laughs> built? You'll get something. Wow, you're so professional. What are you talking about? This right. is how all professionals do it. Three, four and three quarters. Alright, he got the box built. Well, it's nice having a uh, a table saw. <laughs> the cuts were very nice and makes joining it up very very nice. So if you look a little too close at the stuff previous this just don't look. See so, y'all, we're learning how to build better every time. Last time we didn't put a backer piece. And when we tried to lift up our couch because there's cushions on it, it pinched on the wall. It pinched and then you can't lift it all the way up. So with having the hinge out. This is five and a half inches. That should give us space to fairly comfortably be able to lift back and rest on the wall. Yeah. Well, we might still have to take cushions off for resting, but at least we can lift it up hopefully easily. I like this design much better, but this had a reason. You wanted drawers. Yes. And it's a lot of effort, to be honest, to lift this up. Yeah, it's it's a. It was like it became. For... We had all kinds of stuff in our MCI bus. And under the couches that we never touched. Well, we, just no, we did touch it, but it's just not free. It's not daily. It wasn't fun. You it can't wasn't, do daily this will be daily. Stuff. This yeah. will be occasional. So we thought we were on a super roll and we were doing so good. And then I left to go to the bathroom. And she left. Uh, Levi fell asleep on the couch. And Michael is sitting here on the floor, not on the couch, looking at it, thinking something about this isn't right because we fixed the drawer slides to the side, notched everything out, thought we were doing great and then realized that's not going anywhere. If the yeah, whole can. thing has to be on hinges, it's got to lift up, and that's not going to lift up. Which I think we were thinking that from the beginning, and then we were trying to figure out how to do it a little bit neater. Yeah, it's going to be nice and clean. Nice and clean. Never have to lift it. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to store anything, you got to lift the whole couch up and access it underneath. <laughs> I forgot that the both frames have to be able to independent lift. of the box. 
so it sucks but it's, it's not the end of the world but michael did wood glue it so we do have to pull it apart tonight before that wood glue dries we can't wait for tomorrow otherwise it'll just damage the wood yeah it'll come apart but it's just gonna splinter it up so we're gonna get that done and go to bed what it's late it's like 10 or something uh, i work tomorrow yeah i work every day We've uh, rectified our mistake. The frame will sit on this. The whole frame needs to lift. We cannot do the fixed. I don't know what I was thinking. It was late last night. Yeah, that's what happens when you try to work at the end of a long day. Bobby and I have three RV calls today, but they're not till the afternoon. So it's morning when Michael's fresh. Sabrina gets me when I'm fresh. <laughs> For the first time in what, two months? Yeah, my. Uh, <laughs> My side gig is over. So now I have time to devote to the bus and the few RV jobs are starting to slow down because it's getting cold here. It so is. people are calling about winterization, which those are pretty straightforward. <laughs> It's a 500 pound drawer slide. So the idea with this, the reason why we notched out the box that it's gonna sit on, this is gonna lift and give us access. The next frame is going to attach to the slide mechanism like this. The front rung will be outside this frame and the back rung will be inside the frame and that will allow for the free movement in theory. As long as we get it all right. As long as we get it all right, which we will. Might take a few tries. Taught you well. Yeah, that's <laughs> for the Dutch fans. Or German. Everyone knows you're supposed to do that, don't they? Do no, they? not no, until you're don't. taught. Some people just think on Instagram they just like that, and then there's a couch. Mm, good point. Right? That's how some people think couches are made at the factories <laughs> in China. Everybody's just snapping. You have to be a really good snapper. You can build furniture, change your clothes, build furniture. If anybody ever wonders why Michael can't find his tools. No, nobody's wondering that. That's why. Actually, nobody's wondering that. <laughs> nobody. Don't you put a crack in that cup, Bethany. Why not? All your milk will come pouring out. <laughs> I'm pouring out. Come pouring out. Come pouring out. Yep. Oh. Okay. Is it okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your butt. <laughs> <laughs> You're not funny. Son. I'm trying to get work done. This is why we can't get anything done between you and the rain. Do you see this? Yeah, but it's not fastened to that frame yet. I know, but I'm saying, is it okay that there's going to be a gap there that's going to pull? No, no. It's not okay? Not okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that as far as it goes? I guess that is as far as it'll go. Right? That's as far as it goes because of the frame that we built. Right, right, right. 
All right, so we attach the slides first. Now we'll attach that end piece where it needs to go, so then that We're slides not well. Pulling it or stressing. Yeah. It. Very nice. So that's how that works. The wood is warped. That's gonna bind once we put the tracks on. Yeah, that was what I said about shimming. So if you shim under it on this. Shim or remove. Or remove. But will it pull up once I put the so it might a little that's a lot. Yeah. You could just raise pull it. this off, yeah, and raise it up. That might be the easiest way to do it. Alright. Fourth try. I'm gonna go get another piece. I'm gonna put another piece. You got wood. Alright. Biff that one up. Do you say that in here places? Biffed? Biffed. We, we don't biffed say that it. here. I don't know where you we had that. It. I biffed it. All right. Let's set it to a nice. Take clear. six. Slide nice. So that's that. It, it moves freely, really freely now, but you'll see as we add the slides, it will want to try and bind up a bit. I'll start putting the slats. <sighs> 21 and an 8. <laughs> I traced them. That's the problem with doing that and not measuring every time. 21 and an 8. Good measurement now? I think so. All right, so we got this track on. It's moving freely. It gets a little tight near the end, so we might do a little sanding, a little waxing, something like that. And now we got these door hinges. They're a little wide, but I wasn't thinking clearly, was I? So we have to attach the hinge to the non-moving slat. You attach it to your moving slat, you won't be able to move it. You won't be able to move it. You won't have a pull-out couch anymore. So this hinge will allow us to lift the whole system up, hopefully. This is a heavy-duty door hinge. So this back plate is attached to the box. That's where the strength's going to come from. So we're going to do brackets like that. It's going to be super strong. We'll do the floors with this and then three-quarter inch into the ply. So that whole track system yeah. stuff and rest against the wall so our old system would pinch well then we had it and didn't, the cushions aren't on yeah yet. the cushions but it should have some space so that gives us easy access to everything we'll have to remove cushions of course yeah we might be able to keep the bottom one on before we couldn't keep any of them on if we wanted to access so, in there 